Hey, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and today I am going to show you how to make a really cute and fun Halloween spinner card, spider spinner card. If you are interested in how to cut out this SVG file using your electronic cutting machine, whether it be a Cricut, a Scan and Cut, or a Silhouette machine, the steps on how to do that are available on my website's resource library. So uh, there is a link in the video description so you can gain access to that resource library and watch those steps of this card making process as well. But this is going to be the assembly of the card. So I have already cut the elements. We've got a card base. It's an A2 size with a hole cut in the opening or in the front. <laughs> I've got a shadow layer and an inside layer with a greeting that's been written on it that goes on the inside of the card. We have our, sh our spider web outside. That's kind of the star of the show. And then there is a frame that goes around the inside of the opening in the front panel to cover up our spinner mechanism. Now to start off with, we're going to start with the spinner itself, which is going to be this cute spider. And to make him a little more special, I'm going to use some flock, some black flock with glitter to make him fuzzy and then sparkle him up. So this is from Pink and Main. It's really fun and really easy to use. And I will have all the supplies linked in the video description if you want to check that out. All right, so how do we get the flock onto the spider? Now we need the front of the spider, which has the eyes cut out. And then we also have a back of the spider. So these guys get sandwiched together with the spinner in between um, the spinner mechanism so that it he will spin. So I flipped over the back of the spider, so I'll be working on the on like the outside. And this is the top of the spider. So we're going to put glue on both of these surfaces, dip it in the flock so he gets all nice and fuzzy, and then um, let him dry. And we'll be good to go. And then we'll start making the spinner. All right. So to do this, I'm going to use glue. And this gets a little messy. So if you're not into getting messy, well, you may, you may have to find an alternate method. So I'm going to just basically like put out a puddle of glue here, pretty good size. And I'm going to dip my finger in it and I'm just going to spread it over the spider. I don't want like a super thick layer, but I don't want a super thin layer either. This, this glue has a nice open time to it, so it's not going to dry too quickly grab my tweezers here to hold them. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm taking a coffee filter and I'm going to dump the flock into the coffee filter. Some of it. And then I'm going to take the spider and I'm going to dip him in the flock. And I'm going to take my finger without glue on it or fingers and press his legs into the flock just to make sure that I get a good coating all over him. And I'm going to take my tweezers and check. Oh, yep. Looks pretty good. He's all fuzzy and sparkly. All right, so I'm going to set him aside to dry. And I'm going to repeat the procedure with the front of the spider. So while I'm waiting for the spider to dry, I have um, folded my card base, which you kind of saw previously. And it is an A2 size card base, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half with the opening in the front. First, the easiest thing to do is to adhere the two panels together and then adhere that to the center. So I'm going to use my ATG gun for a lot of this. 
just to get the like major sections of the paper with adhesive on it. And then I'm gonna take my skinny tipped glue here and just add a little bit of adhesive into these real pointy, pointy tips and the very edges. I'm just gonna layer that right onto the purple panel. All right, there we go. And then this just fits right inside, kind of evenly spaced all the way around. And you can double check to make sure the greeting is hidden. It should be, it's designed to be. <laughs> and then on this one, I'm gonna use just nothing but glue. That will help me if I get it in the wrong spot. I can kind of move it around a little bit. Use my tweezers to pull off any of this glue that's kind of oozing out from around the edges. I'm going to wipe that off. Okay, so there's our inside panel. Now I'm going to put the spider webs on the front of the card. Now if you're concerned about being able to line up the frame all the way around the outside of the card, which is a little tricky, I'll be honest, you can just trim off these sides and just have it as, you know, a top web area. I'm going to go for the whole thing. So. so this is from Barely Arts and it comes with a couple different tips and this is like the ultra fine tip and so that makes it much easier to get glue in like thin amounts onto something this delicate. So I'm just going to dot it on kind of randomly trying to not get too big a dot anywhere. I'm going to dot this down just a little bit with my fingers. And now I am going to do my best to get this lined up correctly without getting my head in the frame. <laughs> That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put that to the side and let that dry. Okay, so for the spinner mechanism, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the spider sit in the opening of the front of the card and then it's going to be suspended on a piece of fishing line. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Um, that will run be up and down in the opening and then be sandwiched between the two spider layers and then we're going to twist that to, to get the spinning action. So it's actually really, really easy. So I'm going to flip over the two spiders and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of, you know, fairly sturdy double stick tape and I'm going to put this in between on the back kind of fill in a lot of the body of the spider on the back. So let's see here. Okay, like so. Because we want to run this, the, the fishing line, which is this translucent uh, sort of twine. <laughs> it's plastic, basically. We want to run this right directly up the center of the spider and then we're going to sandwich it be with the front of the spider. Now there is a little piece in the design file for this card that that you can cut out to cover the back of the eyes. Um, that is totally up to you. I didn't do that um, right now because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sandwich them together and then I'm gonna use some Nouveau drops. I'm gonna use some orange Nouveau drops to fill in the eyes. 
but it, you could instead if you like fill in the hole with um, some paper instead so I am going to remove the backing press this down pretty strongly onto the back of the spider hair and I'm going to remove the paper there we go. I have cut this string or this piece of fishing line to the same to a little bit bigger than the opening in the card so you know it will definitely fit well past the uh, edges of the card so now I'm going to just sort of eyeball this to get it in the center of the spider and the center of the string basically okay and now we're just going to glue the front to the back of the spider and even though he's got some uh, flock on the back of his legs that shouldn't matter and I'm going to try to do like little dots of glue as you see here to try to avoid too much seeping out between the legs and I'm going to put glue over the the tape just to give it a little bit of extra adherence because we really 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 want that piece of string to stay where it is do not want that to move all right so there we have our suspended spider who's going to spin for us like so. So then our last step is to, for the spinner, is to, to suspend him up and down in the opening of the card, as we see here. And you're trying to want to get him, I think about in the middle. So I'm going to again take some tape and I am going to Cut like a small piece to put just at the very bottom. And then I'm going to cut another one just at the top. But we don't want it to be any bigger than the frame piece that's going to cover this. So just bear that in mind. You know you don't want the you don't want the tape sticking outside of that. And then I'm going to cut another piece of tape. And we're going to sandwich the string in between the two layers of tape. So I do suggest that you want obviously the eyes on the front. So if it's easier to color the eyes in now so you can really see which is the front, which is it, I would suggest doing that now. I'm going to do it afterwards. All right, so this is my front because you can see his eyes are reflecting there. So I'm going to put him down like so. And I'm just kind of eyeballing what is straight up and down. Looks like about there to me. And then I'm just going to take that second piece of tape and stick it right over the first piece of tape to really sandwich that in there nicely. Because again, we don't want this, the translucent string to come off of the back of the card. And I'm just going to try to cut this string as close to the tape as I can. Which is a good reason to make this a little bit longer. Because it's easier to cut off when the piece is a little bit longer. Yeah, so you want that string to be really tight across that opening. Okay, and so now we're going to just put the frame around the inside of the opening to cover up those like little pieces of tape and where the string is holding on the inside. So to do that, I'm gonna use my glue again. All right, so while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna put my eyes on my spider. So I'm using Tonic Nouveau Drops. I'm gonna let that completely dry. And then because I can't help myself, I think I'm gonna have to add a little bit of extra to the front of the card. Okay, so my spider eyes have dried and then I added some orange dots to the bottom of the card. 
And then I decided that it needed a little bit of extra bling. So I have placed some sequins around just to kind of I don't know, give this, give it a little bit of a finishing touch. It seemed a little plain to me and I always like, you know, some bling at Halloween as well as uh, Christmas. So I'm going to uh, glue these sequins down. And then I thought adding maybe a little bit of um, this jelly roll clear star pen would be kind of fun. It's a, it's just a, a glittery pen, glittery kind of clear pen. So I want to connect the uh, spider web here to the, the translucent string to the web. And then I'm going to just put a couple little dots small dots and I think that looks pretty good so let's I'm gonna let this dry and we'll come back and see the finished product okay so here's my finished card very very cute if I do say so myself um, I like the bling on the bottom I think that helps kind of finish it off and give it a special Halloweeny look and the inside I also think is pretty darn cute if I do say so myself and I love that I will twist my spider around and around and around and around to get him all ready to go. Wow, just keep going. And then when they open him, you will spin. Very cute. So there you go. I hope I've inspired you a little bit today um, to make a cute Halloween spider spinner card. As I mentioned, the supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog. I also want to mention the Holiday Crafts for Cricut Makers event that's coming Octo up October 12th through the 15th. This is a free event where a whole bunch of different crafters will be making fantastic projects and showing you exactly how to make them. I'm going to be making a holiday card with a removable ornament that I think is pretty amazing. <laughs> and it is entirely free during those days, but if you are tempted to purchase the VIP All Access Pass, which will give you lifetime access to all the videos, you will get a bonus from many of the crafters who are participating in the event, and my bonus will include the card we made today, the Spider Spinner Halloween card, along with two additional Halloween cards and three more Christmas cards. So I hope you'll check that out. All the information will be linked in the video description below. So I am really looking forward to it and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel. Really appreciate you. Have a great day.